Have you ever felt like your ping is holding you back in Fortnite? Or maybe you want to play with your friends, but their servers are too laggy. If you're looking to improve your ping for completely free, today I'm going to show you guys the best settings and optimizations to fix your internet connection. And of course, if you play other games, this will work for those as well. So here's how my ping is looking right now. We're at around 27 ping. Definitely very playable, but lots of room for improvement. Mostly what we're going to be doing is in the settings. So you just press your Windows key and type settings. And in here, we're just going to go to network and internet. And I'm going to just show you every single thing I can think of to help you fix your ping. So, so just go into the advanced network settings and then data usage. And in here, all you have to do is click on reset usage stats. And for some reason, this just helps. I'm not entirely sure why this happens. It doesn't really make any sense, but it just does. So be sure to reset that. And if you use Ethernet instead of Wi-Fi, which you always should be, you should disable your Wi-Fi right here. And you can obviously really easily enable it again just by going back here. And also, if you don't need Bluetooth as well, you can disable that. I actually use Bluetooth all the time, but otherwise you should be having it off. The next thing we're going to do is in this network and internet section, you go to advanced network settings. You press this drop down menu on Ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on which one you use. Go to more adapter options and it'll show you this thing right here. So we're going to go into the Internet Protocol version 4 here. And as you can see, I'm using the Google DNS. Now, everyone's going to have a different best DNS server. So we're just going to run some benchmarks to figure out which is the best DNS server for you. So for anyone who doesn't really want to download any software, you can really easily just go to this website right here and you can test with every DNS server that you want. Cloudflare performed better than the Google DNS. So we're going to switch to that for now and be sure to test it yourself because again, it's not going to be the same for everyone. And boom, we'll just change that to the Cloudflare DNS address. And then once you're done all of that, we're going to go into network reset and we're just going to reset it now. And then we just have to restart our PC. This next optimization is so unbelievably simple, but before you boot up the game, every single time you should be checking for updates. Not only does this get rid of packet loss, it will also boost your FPS and get you better ping. Don't ask me why this is the case, but it always works for me, especially when there's an antivirus update. So yeah, always be sure to check for updates. And you can see that now we went down to eight ping. That's pretty dang good. Also, nor warm up, so I'm gonna not be able to do sh anything. But yeah, there was definitely a noticeable improvement and I'm pretty happy with that actually. And obviously testing every single DNS server with that website is going to take a really long time. So if you don't mind downloading just a little bit of software in this random channel in my Discord server, you'll be able to test every single DNS server really quickly. Uh, link will be in the comments. But yeah, in this random channel here, I have this DNS bench file right here. And we're just going to go to the second tab right here. We're going to press run benchmark. This will take a few minutes, so I'm just going to start eating my blueberries. After running this benchmark, you can see that OpenDNS is leading with Cloudflare, Quad9, and Google trailing behind. So yeah, the obvious choice is to switch from Cloudflare to OpenDNS. So switching from Cloudflare to OpenDNS, you can see that there's not really a big difference. And OpenDNS, despite having pretty much the same ping, it feels very laggy. I'm not sure exactly why, but the edits actually take like a little bit longer to go through, even with the same ping. I think Cloudflare is just a lot more consistent, so I would recommend that. If your ping still sucks after doing this, like if it's still above like 30, I would recommend getting a free VPN. The one that I use actually is Windscribe. Windscribe is actually a lifesaver when it comes to connecting to other servers. However, if you have below 30 ping on your own servers, I don't think it's going to help you at all. It's only going to be useful if you go to another server because because that's when it really has an effect. So again, we're just gonna boot up Fortnite once again. And really quickly, before you start using Windscribe, you just gotta make sure when you do use it, you make sure that you pick one that's closest to your servers or the servers that you wanna connect to. So let's say we're trying to connect to US East, we're gonna just pick one of these US East servers. So I'm gonna set my servers to NA Central. We're gonna switch this to Dallas because the central servers are closest to Dallas. And we're just gonna connect into the game. All right, fellow Sigmas, our ping is doing okay. You know, we're getting around 30. 30 is pretty decent. It's just a little bit laggy. It's just above like average ping. I believe average ping is around like 25. And you do get 10 gigabytes per month. And that is more than enough for regular gaming. As you can see, when we send data to the server, it's only about three to five kilobytes per second. You're not gonna run out of this 10 gigabytes and it's really easy to just make a new account. And before you say anything, VPNs cannot get you banned. If a friend told you that they got banned from using a VPN, they were using aimbot and they just said they were using a VPN uh, as an excuse. And of course, the best way to get rid of lag spikes and get better ping is to use Ethernet. And for some reason, the performance this season is really bad. So if you want to optimize your PC for better FPS, definitely check out this video right here. 